Weddings are uh, wonderful days. I think about, I've probably done a couple hundred weddings in my life and uh, they never cease to just excite me and fill me with joy. They're built to freak the husband out, uh, the future husband out, no doubt. It is a, yeah, yeah. Four years ago today, to this day, four years ago, we had our first date. We had met several weeks before when I gave you a hard time about closing out your tab so early in the night. Since that moment, I was convinced you were the woman I had been searching for my entire life. Christian, the words I say today in front of our family and friends are sacred and true. But these words don't come close to my true feelings for you for my love for you is limited, limitless. I've dreamed of this day my entire life. I couldn't imagine standing here with anyone else. This is the first day of forever with you as my wife. I would be a foolish man to promise you perfection. But I can promise you this, Ashley Nicole Nell. <laughs> I promise to love you every day, just a little bit more than I did the day before. I vow to always support you, grow with you, and tell you every day how much you mean to me. I vow to be a light to you in a world of darkness. I vow to cherish this life together and what we have. I'm so thankful to have met you, fell in love, and now build a crazy, beautiful life together. I promise to respect you, even when you work late and long hours. <laughs> I promise to always make you feel worthy. Most importantly, I vow to build this marriage on the foundation of God's love. John Christian Nell, I choose you forever and always until death to us part, to be sure. I promise to take a step back or take a deep breath when faced with a trying time. And as your favorite saying goes, that's as far as I got. So long story short, <laughs> I promise to love you always and forever. To be sure. <laughs> you look nice. I like the tie. That happiness doesn't just come from entering into a relationship with someone automatically. Most people believe getting married is this myth. Um, of a relationship that's like a beautiful box full of all the things I've ever longed for. Companionship and intimacy, friendship, encouragement and support. But the truth of the matter is, marriage at the start today is an empty box. You must put something in before you can take something out. There's no love in marriage. Love is in people. And people put it into marriage. There's no romance in marriage. People have to infuse it into their marriages. Now, by the authority given to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride officially. <laughs> Put your hands together for our bride and groom. Yeah.